week's City Commission meeting, members of the Bozeman community gave public comment asking the city to do more to protect and support the LGBTQ plus community in response to, response to recent threats. NBC Montana's Brianna Carroll spoke to members of the community regarding their safety concerns ahead of Pride celebrations next month and heard from the mayor as well on the city's plans to respond. <laughs> Following a series of bomb threats targeting the LGBTQ plus community earlier this month, residents are calling on the city of Bozeman to do more leading up to Pride. In the, the moment of, of evacuating, it was just focusing on keeping our staff and customers safe and just doing um, what we needed to keep our store uh, protected. Jason Beatty is the owner of the Gem Gallery in downtown Bozeman. Toward the end of the day on May 3rd, police officers showed up and evacuated his business in response to an email alleging that a bomb would be set off at neighboring Steep Mountain Tea House. Beatty said while it was a scary situation, upon reading the email and seeing that the sender's motivation was the tea shop's drag programming, his main emotions were disappointment and frustration. He says the bomb threats are just one symptom of larger issues in the community. Do you think that the city of Bozeman is a safe place to be queer? Mm, I think it has a lot of challenges. There's definitely a lot of backlash, and I think we've seen it as, um, as the queer community has made progress that people are really kind of digging in their heels against some of that progress. Despite the city adopting an equity and inclusion plan last year, some feel the queer community has been overlooked. I think living in rural Montana, it's easy to look at Bozeman and see it as this liberal oasis. And I think a lot of people have that lens on Bozeman. But when it comes to the actual action and support that we have received from the city itself, I do not really see that. Bozeman Pride organizers say after participants were accosted by members of hate groups during last year's event, the city needs to do more to keep the community safe this time around. But some feel the response they have received so far lacks transparency. I think our Bozeman Pride Committee has done everything that we can within our power to make sure that we are keeping our community safe. And to have that ball sitting in the city's court and not see that ball get passed back to us is quite disturbing. Some of the actions organizers of this year's Pride programming would like the city to take include recognizing Pride as an official holiday, designating specific spots for protesters, active participation from law enforcement in keeping events secure, and a proclamation of support. Bozeman Mayor Terry Cunningham says the city is taking these concerns seriously and is working with the police department and organizers to make sure safety is at the forefront of all of this year's festivities. We condemn uh, threats of violence. We condemn hate. There is no place for that in the city of Bozeman. And leading up to Pride, Cunningham says the commission will be working on writing up a proclamation of support. We'll be working on a state in our proclamation to the community about the fact that this is a, a celebration by the uh, LGBTQ uh, community and we want that celebration to be uh, a safe one, an inclusive one. Pride organizers I spoke with said that proclamation is necessary and a great start, but they hope city leadership will take additional steps to ensure Bozeman is a safe and inclusive community for all. Reporting in Bozeman, Brianna Carroll, NBC Montana. We want to know what you think. Join the conversation on our NBC Montana Facebook page. All you have to do is scan the QR code on your screen right now.